All right then, bro. We're gonna make history, yeah? Come on. I'm gonna scream down your house, Eddie. Do it for it, man. Sure? <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> I make a lot of noise. I get a lot of criticism for making noise. <laughs> it's fine, man. A lot, mate. Oh, why'd you scream? Why'd you bark? I said, get under what I'm fucking undoing. You might try and bark yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, then, bro. So guys, we should talk about the saga. It's quarter past nine in the morning and we're on the way to train with Mr. Eddie Hall. If you don't know who Eddie Hall is and you're into lifting or fitness, I think you need to call it a day. Eddie's basically the king really when it comes to deadlifts. Um, world's strongest man. Um, yeah, it's a busy season. I'm excited man, it's not a joke. It's absolutely not a joke. So, we're gonna go fuck shit up regardless. I've got a full boxing ring going in here. In about two weeks. Okay, so that's my that's my main profession now, full time boxer. So when's the fight? Uh, next September. So I've I'm, I'm done six months. I've got another, I think it's ten months. The thing is, with the boxing, you've got to find that balance between strength and speed and agility. Yeah, 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 yeah. I find when you if you do like a three hour weight session, your boxing just goes to shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have to like cap it at like one and a half to two hours. Keep the weight somewhat about. Probably seventy percent of my max, yeah. and then obviously that keeps me fresh with the boxing. So it's um, where I am now. I can do pretty much everything. I can run, jump, blah 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 yeah. blah. And I feel good, but actually, when you see the numbers start to decline, it's a bit like. Oh. Yeah. So I'll probably just get through this period, get some content while I'm leaning, and just throw the weights back on. Sound. That's the way to do it. Right. Well, we've got the bar in, mate. So I think we'll, uh, we'll get to the cracking. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's go. Sound. Some flat shoes on. Sorry, I'm on proper black man time, mate. <laughs> so one of the best pieces of advice I can give you is you treat your arms like hooks. Yeah. So you want to just literally relax everything. All you want to tense is your thumb. That's it. So you lock them out and just tense your thumb onto that forefinger and everything else tenses naturally. What I say is, stance is up to you, but I always say the middle of your foot, so heel to toe, it's usually about where you tie your laces, that's where you want the bar to be, all right? Get your stance, middle of the foot, always turn to the side, get the middle of your foot, that's where the bar should be lifting from. So if you lift from out here, which I think you do, you lose a lot of power. You, well, what, you, what happens is you straighten your legs, and you put all the weight into your lower back yes. straight away, yes. and that that'll throw you off massively. And you probably you can probably honestly like lose ten percent of your strength doing that easily. Now from here, I would I would grab bend over and grab it. All right, don't move the bar. So if the bar moves forward, you fucked it. it. Means you really need to reset. Get that middle of the foot, so the bar never moves. Okay, grip it, and then from here, the best way to learn the technique. Is to straighten your legs like that and then drop your hips until your shins touch the bar. There. That is the perfect deadlift start. Can't beat it. And then from there, you want to visualize yourself in a leg press and you automatically just put all the weight into your heels. So, middle of your foot, straighten the legs, drop the hips until your shins touch, and then think you're in a leg press and you automatically lean back a couple inches, put all the weight in your heel. And then it's like A to B. So, if you think about it, there's a point on the wall, so you've got A to B. If yeah. you're pulling from the middle of your foot, you're pulling in a straight line. If you're pulling from the front of your, over your toes, the bar's going in that direction, isn't it? So you're pulling so at an angle. Is the yeah. And the same if it's too close. So you want it middle of your foot, so it's A to B, that perfect straight line. So it's actually crazy, it makes sense. When I used to deadlift years ago, I always used to get the scars on my shins. Yeah. I don't get them anymore. Yeah. Obviously, I'm not lifting properly, the bar's not even... Um, I know it sounds dark, but you, you want to be getting that skin coming off. 100%. You do. You know it's going the right yeah. direction. So, I mean, you'd be fine because you've got your trackings no, on. No, I'm getting these off. I'm shipping off. Right, fair enough. The <laughs> <laughs> less in between your feet and the floor, the better, because you want all your muscles working as they should, like stabilising muscles. So, if you've got a flat foot on the floor, that is the best best way to do it, really. I was just to train in converses, so yeah. because there's like the very minimal, minimal. and it's flat. Yeah, yeah. So, it's sort of almost like just raising the floor up a bit and a cushion on your feet in it. Go uh, another quarter of an inch, literally a tiny Forward, tiny. Over. Forward. There, that's the middle of your foot. Grip the bar now without moving it, forward or backward. 
Right, straighten your legs, keep the bar where it is, straighten your legs, yeah. and then drop your hips so your shins touch. There, perfect. Much better. Movements, waist on. Straight to waist on. I was born to do this, Eddie. Do <laughs> <laughs> you ever find the second rep's always easier than the first rep? All the time. That's because it lands where it should be, where it should be pulled from. So if you can get that right on the first rep, you're saving yourself so much fucking energy. So it was easier on the second one's going to be better than the first one. That's right. It was lunch. So true, true story, yeah? Mm -hmm. One for camera. I started using wrist wraps because years ago I was dating a girl. My hands was that hard, touched the leg and landed her tight. <laughs> so I thought I need to have something because my hands were just soft. Soft, yeah, soft, yeah, soft. yeah, soft in my hands. <laughs> she left me anyway, so. <laughs> Basically. Oh, oh, oh. One more set. Mate, I'm gonna fucking die in here, bro. Get the air. <laughs> what did we last set? Two nine. Three. No, no, no. Three ten. Yeah, you know what? I'm being a bit hard on myself. I done three ten. It wasn't a bad lift. Um, obviously, I've got numbers in excess of 50k more. So, but obviously, the thing with like powerlifting and weightlifting, it comes in cycles, and it. Do you know what I mean? I've been lifting yeah. heavy for the last few weeks, so my body's probably a little bit depleted. But I've lifted it with better form than I've ever lifted, so that's a huge um, bonus. Now I'm gonna try and attack 330 for six. I don't really. I'm gonna try and attack 330 now. Um, if I can get it with the same form, I'll be happy. But ultimately, I'm leaving here today with obviously new tips, new advice. And over the course of the next three to six months, um, I'll be going for Eddie's world record. <laughs> you know, myself, I do get lazy sometimes and it does get to me and I think, well, I can't bother to do this, why do I do this? But give me a week off, three days off, I'm like, you fucking need to get that under that bar again. Do you know what I mean? For me, it's a void filler for me and I'm sure you've got a bit of a past as well. It's yeah. something that keeps your mind busy and keeps, yeah, you, yeah, keeps yeah. you out of bad things, you it's know? It's therapy as well, man. It's yeah, it's therapy. therapy. It's, it's big therapy. therapy. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? All right then, bro. We're going to make history, yeah? Come on. I'm gonna scream down your house, Eddie. Do it for it, man. Sure? <coughs> yeah. I make a lot of noise. I get a lot of criticism for making noise. <laughs> it's fine, a man. lot, mate. Oh, why'd you scream? Why'd you bark? I said, get under what I'm fucking undoing. You might try and bark yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, then, bro. Oh, shit. <clears throat> right, keep breathing deep now. Come on, let's get, get aggressive. Let's get it. All right. Come on! Come on! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Come on! Come on! Get it! Yeah! That was just as just as the same speed as the free tap. Yeah. Run! <laughs> Spot on. It's mad though because I'm used to basically using my traps and taking it off the floor so I can feel the flex of things. Is it coming, is it coming, is it coming, is it coming? <sighs> I'm happy. Good, <laughs> well Thank you very much.
Right, shall we get in the cryo chamber? We're really going to shiver up here, what? Oh, it's 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 going it's it's to go in. <laughs> now, I've got a fucking grow on that show anyway, so we nothing left, mate. Eddie's in the cryo machine. I'm about to go next. And Eddie's just told me people have died in these. So. <laughs> um, it's normal. Mum, I love you. I've got, I've got a defib machine in the next room. You'll be okay, fine. Gonna be <laughs> <laughs> right, you jump straight in, mate. Oh, oh, okay, now. Cross your arms inside. Go on, get it. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, come on, you get in. I've seen the frost on his shorts. It loses the temperature. <laughs> ah, right. So back against the the back wall. Keep your arms like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in front. Yeah, just like that, because otherwise it'll burn your arms because you've got fans either side. Oh shit. Okay, right, and just deep breathing. Best thing you can do is talk, because it just takes your mind off it. What should we talk about? <laughs> I don't know, we're talking about how fucking painful this is going to be. <laughs> this, this one time at band camp, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. Oh, oh god. Oh, god. Oh, god. How long do I have to do? You got one. Three minutes. How long have I done? Two and a half minutes left. Yo, with my hands. Ooh. If your hands are getting cold, just close so your fists. So cover your, like, so alternate, cover your thumbs. And then when you when you when your fingers get cold, cover your fingers. Yeah. Just keep alternating. I've got tropical blood. You see, this is the problem. <laughs> <laughs> if you do this any day, that night you will sleep like an absolute baby. I need some sleep. I don't want to sleep. Honestly, I'm not sleeping, you know, Eddie. I've still got like four and a half. Minutes. You'll sleep well tonight, mate. Oh shit! Put my elbow on the side. Yeah, yeah. Can we get out early? <laughs> Bro. No, 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 trust me, this is not a joke. Keep breathing. Honestly, mate, it's worth going through How the long? pain. Uh, just under, uh, just over a minute left. Ooh! Nah, nah, bro, this is not a joke, I'm not gonna lie. Nah, you Keep breathing. Sweet. 60 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I could never get used to this. Take me back to Dubai, mate. <laughs> Thank you for treating me to the crow, Eddie. You're welcome, buddy. <laughs> there you go. Alright, stay in for 10 more seconds, mate. Just let all the fumes die down. Dip down, get your head through that hole. Oh. That's it. Oh, right, feel his skin now, like his legs and stomach and everything. Mad cold. What the hell? You look like you just fried a freeze. I told you, grew up poor, so he said bath at the No, I won't answer. Eddie. Great, mate. No, thank awesome, man. Thank you so much for coming. It's been a pleasure, mate. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Right, guys, thank you very much for watching. It's been an amazing session. Training with Eddie. Eddie's off to eat and sleep. I'm just going to go out angry again, that's all. Just leaning in. Eddie's going to It's been a great session. We'll come, come, come. We'll be behind the scenes as well. So, like, comment, subscribe. 2021, no games. We'll be dropping a load of content and making history.